We're here with head women's basketball coach Kerry Jenkins for his weekly check-in on Goyo.com. Uh, coach, you did have a tough one last night out at Kenyon, but let's first revisit last week, a, a three-game week for you. Went one and two, and, and an opportunity there where we really had a chance to win all three games. Um, gave one away, you know, at Hiram, and then kind of lost here at overtime to Ohio Wesleyan again. Looking back at last week now, you know, that's got to be a little disappointing for you. A little bit, but, it, you know, there's some good and some bad. I mean, I think the I think it shows growth on our part a little bit, the fact that, like, we very well could have gone 3-0 you know, that week. Um, but it also shows some of the immaturity that we have right now. It's just we're, we're young. We just don't, you know, at, at Hiram it was a case of not really understanding the moment. They had a big crowd. They were really hyped. They were really into it. And I don't think that our team really embraced what it was about and what it meant. I thought we played hard and well against um, Owu. Ohio Wesleyan, you know, we just, there were four or five plays that we needed to make down the stretch that we didn't make, and they ended up uh, kind of, to be honest, kind of stealing the game from us a little bit. But they worked hard against Worcester and, and, and did well that. We, we're just growing. We're getting better every day. I think some of our development right now is beyond the physical. It's more about the mental at this point. Yeah, I mean, definitely had that real nice convincing win against Worcester in there. And then last night against uh, Kenyon, obviously a tough loss for you, one of the better teams in the league. Um, like you said, you had them on the ropes early on in the first half, a couple key mistakes, and then even late you made a, a second-half comeback attempt there. So overall, you know, what are your assessments from that game? I, I, we, I think our kids understood. If you want to be at that level, then there's a, there's a kind of basketball that you have to play. Um, you can't take plays off. You can't take breaks. Mistakes have to be minimal. And I think that our kids are becoming – more acutely aware of those kind of uh, consequences that the game unfolds. But, you know, we're young and, and inexperienced, and even our older kids who were playing have never really been in that environment before where games matter and you're playing at the highest level of, and you got to be intense and execute for an entire game. So I'm, I'm happy with our progress. I think it bodes well for the future. Um, like, we, you certainly would love to win some of these games, but I think we're getting – I always tell our players that, you know, there's a benefit in the struggle. And I think that we're kind of going through that struggle a little bit. And I think it's making us more aware of some of the things we need to work on in order to, to kind of get to that next level. Yeah, and then looking ahead here, there's only two games left in the regular season for you. Obviously two tough ones uh, with DePauw coming here on Saturday, who's nationally ranked top team in the conference, and then Denison, who is also a very, very good competitive team. First, talk about Saturday's matchup against DePauw. I mean, what are your, your goals? They're obviously, you know, they're, they're a tough, tough team. And how do you try to slow them down? Well, you know, we – you just have to play. They got to play. You got to. You got to be smart. They they pressure defensively. Um, you know. You're going to have to be intelligent playing against them. If they're overplaying on the perimeter, you got to cut back door. You got to be aggressive at the rim. They're they're fairly um, uh, pattern team. They run their sets. They run their offense. They all can all play. It's a game where everybody has to show up and play, and everybody has to play well. Um, you got to love playing games like that. I tell our kids all the time. You only get so many shots at the big dogs. The top cheese is the best teams in the country and I was like when you're there you really got to embrace that moment and go for it I think that if we can do that you know your hope is you 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 play well you keep it close and down the stretch you never know what's going to happen at that point and I think that for us it's really about starting the game if we start well I think that we've shown a tendency to play well down the stretch thanks coach good luck on Saturday